Well, we've seen DJ Z come in as a non-regular member of the roster and leave with a championship in the past. Could that be an omen of what's to come tonight? Well, it's certainly very possible. I mean, Joe, if you look at this match on paper, I don't know how you pick a winner. DJ Z recently declaring himself a free agent from Impact Wrestling. Already offers all over the world a busy schedule, but DJ Z always makes time to come back home. Well, Joe, there's no place like home, and that home for DJ Z could be being one half of the IWC Tag Team Champions. Something that he knows all about as well. And DJ Z is someone that Palace has looked up to throughout his career. Uh, arguably Palace's first major one-on-one -on -one test was against DJ Z some years ago. And the interesting thought that I just connected, if Palace wins, he'll become only the second Triple Crown Champion in history. The first is partner DJ Z. A lot of history at stake here. And you know, if you're gonna draft or craft a tag team, I'd have to say your first round picks are gonna be DJ Z and Andrew Palace. But how will they function together? I believe there has to be a mutual respect there, but it can't compare to Gannon and Duke, who've been riding the roads across over a half a dozen states every single weekend for a couple of years now. And this is the first that we have seen the main event and DJ Z on opposite sides. We've seen Andrew Palace in the main event in the ring before. Yeah, normally as allies. And Z, nice takedown. A leverage move to offset the six foot five meta human. You gotta wonder, maybe he's... Is that our horn? We gotta wonder, did the main event maybe learn something from Palace or vice versa? Do that. I don't know. I point at people and I don't get a horn. I normally get a, a finger or two. While Z points at Palace, we may get a tag. What do I get if I point at you? Not much. I'm not paying attention. I want to see who wins the tag team championship. Gannon may be the most agile big man of his size to ever step foot in an IWC ring. I don't know if anybody has more heart than Andrew Palace. Well, you don't see a lot of guys that are six foot five able to fly like a cruiserweight. Oh. Andrew Palace certainly knows what he's in for. And Palace a Hurricane Rana. You know, in a matchup like this, you'd have to really look at common opponents that they've held or that they face. Double spring, double knees. It's really hard to do analysis on a match like this, and uh, other than maybe a tail of the. Hey, Palace did it too. A tail of the tape. Why did they? I was talking. I wish Jay was were here. It's always funny when they interrupt him. What? Do you, I told you he's doing charity work down in somewhere. Narrow that down. Tag to DJ Z. Taking stuffed animals, to babies, or babies to stuffed animals. One of the two. Unique hairstyle on DJ Z. He won't win the most majestic main. I, mean, I don't think that was a category. Oh, wait a minute. Jeeps, high angle back suplex. And the main event loved to have fun out here too, but they can get all business when time comes. I'll tell you, you may not have liked that move by the main event, but it was effective. Oh, wait a minute. Andrew Palace are in a huddle. And again, 
keep in mind, these guys did not know they were tag team partners until they met in this ring. There was no chance to even discuss pre-match strategy or even think, what if we became partners? Because there's three or four dozen people back there looking for the same opportunity. Well, absolutely. You can't just narrow it down. You can't just go around talking to people. Hey, do you want to talk strategy? If maybe, just in case possible. Oh, look out. Z outsized about 80 pounds at Palace. What a crack on impact. And DJ Z hit hard. A smart move by the main event. Focus on one man. We can take the other out. Palace neutralized. He his medical history is well documented. So Kelly is inside ruptured on him in Mexico. He died in a hotel room bathroom. Hotel bathroom floor. Thought he wouldn't live, let alone wrestle again, but he's back better than ever. Absolutely. Three. If they get a, a certain a, a crowning point on that road to recovery, would be being one out. Can you believe the handoff on a suplex? Well, it's certainly not easy to distribute the weight that you need required to do that. Let alone doing, uh, I guess those would be vertical presses while he's at it, would be Duke Davis. End of the cover. There's only one meta-human in the world of professional wrestling, and you're looking at him in Duke Davis. I'm not sure we could handle another. And to those that would ask, do you have a way to define what a meta-human is? Well, I think the only way you can describe it is just by looking at Duke Davis. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and what you see right there might be worth a million. Certainly somebody more than, greater than, superior than uh, your average uh, homo sapien. It's certainly somebody that uh, possesses all of the physical tools to do anything he pleases. And in recent months especially, he has certainly backed that up. And if you didn't have enough to worry about, you've got Gannon Jones Jr. to deal with as well. The wrestling's all-star. Let's not in any way discredit him or overshadow him. Two count, again, the athleticism of Gannon it can be deceptive. It can be uh, surprising, it can be unexpected what Gannon can do out there. Sometimes defies gravity and logic. Metahuman taking over. I like to think of myself as the metahuman of commentary. You can be the all star. And I'm not sure how many tag matches Palace has been in lately. Well, I think the inexperience is beginning to show itself as the main event isolate this ring and just overpower Palace. Palace and DJC so far apart. Well, Joe, let me float this idea out to you as well. Is Palace at 100%? After battling Jock, we don't know what injuries he may have suffered. And another two count. <laughs> we both know Palace, of course, wouldn't use that as an excuse, not gonna let people know, but right. that's still gotta be on his mind. Well, if even if Palace was 100% coming into this, a couple of minutes with the main event, and that's far from the case. You definitely don't leave the same as you came in when you take on the main event. Not at all. And of course, you have to worry about Liddy. I don't think Liddy is, stays at ringside during the match. I mean, we have to be concerned. Uh, you might be threatened because so far he's running neck and neck with you as far as number of champions he's managed. I'm going to take that as an insult. Well, you can take it however you like. First, you, you question my, my swag, I believe it's called earlier, about my dance moves. Yeah, that sounds real confident. Palos being his way. Right to the temple of Gannon Jones Jr. But Palace doesn't have the wherewithal to, to know where DJC is. He knows Palace went to the neutral corner. And he's back in jeopardy. Well, he's taking a lot of punishment. He knows he's got to get to a corner, but the question is, you got to get to the right one. I know where he doesn't want to be, and that's in there against Duke Davis. How high angle back suplex. I'll tell you, that was a smart move. It, it might not have been on purpose, but he pushed. Gannon Jones Jr. as far away as possible from Duke Davis. Well, Gannon's body is between the two challengers. I'm not sure if Gannon's aware. Gannon needs to get Duke back in as well. DJ Z looking fresh on the outside after that spill that we saw him take. Oh, wait a minute. And Duke getting involved, and that's a 
bit uncharacteristic of the manner that we've seen in recent months. Well, we said a dream team in Andrew Palace and DJZ. You can't blame Duke Davis for, for taking a little bit of an advantage and making sure that they have firm control of these tag titles. And a TME collision and a tag to DJZ. Filipino takes flight. And he had that momentum, size, and movement to take down both members of the main event. Well, I'm not sure if I've ever seen DJZ look better. But that was his problem. He went to the people, and that's going to cost him. Great adjustment. He's got about a combined 13 feet of badass to deal with, and he's finding a way. We talked earlier about Jonathan Gresham being a man that can change direction and has speed, and DJZ is the same. But DJZ still has to contend with both members of the main event in there right now. Oh, God! Oh, my God! She vaulted through the air, and the landing was somehow worse. And right on cue, Duke Davis and Gannon Jones Jr. always know where the other one is at all times. Now where Palace is. Now they do. Drop kick connects. Well, he saw what happened to DJZ. He's got to take matters into his own hands. Shotgun drop kicks. Stack up the champions. And Palace, that frenetic energy, got caught. Wasn't able to keep them down. Oh, God. Ooh, keep them down long enough. Nuts thing, the main event, they always find a way to recover. Always find a way to get back into it. I'll tell you, I like what I'm seeing from Duke Davis and Gannon Jones Jr. I'm liking this little bit of relaxed attitude. Well, it's when at all costs, but Gannon and Duke with a miscue, and Z looking to capitalize. Gonna send Duke to the outside. Now you can focus on the other six foot five individual. Double drop kick, change of Ricky and Robert. Here goes Palace. The tope to the floor. Duke maneuvers out of the way. That might have been the smartest thing that Duke could do. Uh oh. Look at DJZ! Tope got Halo! Well, you've got excellent teamwork. You question the ability of these two to team, and we're seeing it right now. Hey, this may be the team we never knew we wanted until we had it. I don't know about that. What the team? I mean, they're very impressive. Oh, fans showing the respect all around here. What is this? Again, this is on the fly. No time to talk strategy. Double missile drop kick. Joe, this could be it. Double pin, new champions. No. And Joe, I think if not for Duke Davis, that would have been it. That was a save. And palace to the floor. With DJZ prone, two on one. Gannon with the stomp. Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, man. okay. Couldn't do it without you. Well, I'm here for a reason. What is this? Whoa! Duke Davis taking flight. You can't tell Duke Davis the guys his size can't do something because he's going to do it. Speaking of, we see Gannon Jones Jr. going to the top. but nobody there. That is a very, very big moonsault to miss. The pile driver, DJZ, has him. No. Joe, what I think might have saved Gannon Jones Jr. is he's so big, he naturally went towards the ropes and DJZ had to pull him in closer. Just another one of the advantages that you have when you're six foot five. You gotta wonder, because of the size, did Z really hit that move as close as he wanted? 
but Z is measuring Gannon. Jump up DDT. Gannon, oh look out. Gannon! Face first, a twisting flatliner. But he's got powers to contend with. These four individuals are moving really fast, Joe. Gannon, wait. Could this be Hernia Driver? We are new tag team champions! No! I'm not sure if uh, Gannon kicked out or Duke interrupted the fall. I think Palace might have actually seen Duke coming. Oh, wait a minute! Yeah, and avoided the contact, and that allowed Gannon to slip a shoulder up. Onward we press. Oh, look at this power. Good grief. What a hard power bomb that was. Duke is focused on Gannon. He doesn't realize TJC's to his border to his feet. He's on the ropes. What's the problem? There's so much to contend with. Uh-oh, oh Joe, God. wait a minute. Caught. Goozle. Counter. Gannon and Duke collide again. TJC. Manipulating the system. Oh, got caught. Got caught. The drop kick. The spine buster. Main event. Find a way. Here are your winners and still the IWC Tag Team Champions.